Hi, I'm Maurice Green. Bon vent, oh mara. I wish to salute the Vendée Globe skippers. A sympathetic blink of the eye from Maurice Green, 100 meter sprinter, living legend, probably more at ease on a racing track than on a boat. <laughs> 25 days into the race, and eight competitors are now sailing in the Indian Ocean, which means five are still in the Atlantic South, among whom Alessandro Di Benedetto bringing up the rear, but not on the razor's edge, so to say. The weather is still nice, so I enjoy the pace and temperature with Jenniker and mainsail to shave. That's it. More than 700 miles ahead of the Franco-Italian, Bertrand de Broc, 11th in the ranking, just entered the Roaring 40s. Heavy duty conditions today. Heavy sea. Not too strong a wind, 25 to 35 knots. The boat is rather happy. Nice skates, good speeds great sensations and nice surfing treats. There you go. You gotta hold on because you may not have noticed, but I have. The accelerations are quite fierce. In about 36 hours, Bertrand de Broc should reach the Aiguille's gate, first of the nine gates placed at regular intervals in the Great South. Though limited by two GPS markings, these gates materialized in green must necessarily be taken into account by the competitors. Their aim is to reasonably keep them away of the Antarctic continent and by extension avoid icebergs or other growlers drifting under these latitudes. The second gate, named Crozet, is in the leading group's aim. We're trying to go fast, not to be caught up by the anti-cyclone behind us. It doesn't catch up, we have the Crozet gate in front. The objective is to pass the gate before the anti-cyclone. So we tally, after sheet, see you. At the 4 p.m. check, Armel Leclerc was still ahead of François Gabard by 14 miles and of Jean-Pierre Dick by 37. 